Welcome to the CMNS Graduate Commencement Ceremony, honoring our graduates and their family and friends. At this time, please turn off your cell phones or set them to silent mode. Please note, exits are located throughout Memorial Chapel. For your safety, look for your nearest exit. In case of emergency, walk, do not run to that exit. Thank you. Graduates, faculty, and honored guests, please welcome Dean Amitabh Varshney and the members of his platform party to the stage. Presiding over these ceremonies is Dr. Amitabh Varshney, Dean of the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences. Please have a seat. Graduates, distinguished faculty members, families, and friends, Welcome to the University of Maryland's College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences 2023 Graduate Commencement Ceremony. This is the first time we have honored our master's and doctoral students separately from our bachelor's graduates. So this ceremony is for the record books. To our August 2022, December 2022, and May 2023 graduates receiving certificates, master's degrees, and doctoral degrees. We are very proud of your accomplishments. Here at the University of Maryland, and we are honored to be here today to participate in your milestone celebration. I have no doubt that your experiences here, especially during a pandemic, will shape your lives. Finishing up your degrees has not been easy. Many of you have experienced hardships and even tragedies during this time. But I hope that down the road, when you look back, you will remember that you faced this challenge which, and you persevered, and your diploma will be one reminder of this challenging period in your lives and in global history. Throughout the pandemic, we have seen that the world needs knowledgeable, creative, and passionate leaders now more than ever. Leaders who will ask tough questions, 
who will use science and mathematics to solve pressing problems, leaders who will use data for decision making, and leaders who will use, who will find new discoveries that will improve the human condition. The world needs leaders like you. As you walk across the stage, you will join the 52,000 science terps in our alumni network. These are science terps who have also dedicated their lives to science. Our keynote speaker today, Dr. Brandy Smith, has been a strong and passionate advocate for animal conservation and dedicated her life to science. She is currently the John and Adrian Mars Director of the Smithsonian National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute. Brandy graduated in 2010 from the University of Maryland with a PhD in behavior, behavior, ecology, evolution, and systematics. And her son is following in her turb footsteps as a freshman here this year. Brandy began her career at the Dallas Zoo as a rhino keeper before working for the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Because she missed working with the animals, she took a job as the curator at the National Zoo and was subsequently promoted to Associate Director of Animal Care Sciences, then Deputy Director and now Zoo Director. Overseeing the care of 2,700 animals and more than 300 employees, Brandy's work with the zoo reflects a lifelong commitment to conservation and education. We are so proud of her work at the zoo and it's an honor to welcome her back to the campus today as a keynote speaker. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Brandy Smith to the podium. First, I'd like to say congratulations to all of you graduates. Um, you've made it. This is such an epic moment in your lives, and I am so honored and thrilled to be here to celebrate this with you. Uh, when I think about Maryland, um, I, don't, I, don't I don't think about the graduation ceremony. I think about my defense um, and my, <laughs> right? You kind of can't ever get over that. I still have little trauma dreams about it sometimes. Um, but my husband showed up and he had a box of tissues and a bottle of champagne. And he said, no matter what happens, there's gonna be a lot of crying and we're all gonna need a drink. So um, I didn't bring tissues and champagne for all of you, um, but I wish them to you virtually. Uh, so you have a wonderful time celebrating tonight. Uh, so a lot of people think, um, you know, I, I, I have an incredible job. I run a Smithsonian unit, like a Smithsonian museum. Um, it's really pretty incredible. And the question that everyone asks me is, Brandy, is this what you always wanted to do with your life? Um, and the answer is no. Uh, I still don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, I have never made a good career choice in my life. Um, we talked about my career trajectory at the zoo. I started as a curator. The head of animal care job came up. I'm like, no, I don't think I want to apply for that. Um, and I didn't, but eventually I did. Um, deputy director, same thing. I didn't apply for that job twice. Um, and it's because I always followed my heart. I was never thinking about what should I do. It was always what do I want to do? Where do I want to be? What is making me happy in this moment? And where can I have the most impact? And I'm guessing a lot of you as graduates in the sciences have probably had a similar, uh, similar thought process in your career. So since we're scientists, we're gonna collect a little bit of data here right now. Um, and I'm gonna ask a question because I'm very curious. So how many of you decided to you know, get your degrees in the sciences? How many of you said, I'm gonna do this because this is the best way for me to make a lot of money? I thought there'd be like two computer science people who would raise their hand. None of you? <laughs> All right, okay. How many people did this because you really couldn't imagine doing anything, with your, anything else with your life? You're just compelled to do it. All right, a few of you. And that's why I did it. I wanted to make a difference in the world 
and I couldn't, I just couldn't imagine doing something else. I couldn't imagine studying anything else or doing anything else. So following your heart is one thing, um, but how do you make yourself a success? I will tell you this, the three key things for success, work hard, be nice, take chances. In this order, work hard, be nice, take chances. Um, work hard is pretty self-evident. Um, I work all the time, all the time. And it's not just because I'm the director. Everyone I know, we, we have, I have 600 people um, at the Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute. Everyone who's a success works hard. We talk about cloning ourselves just so we could have another person who could work even more. Um, and I guess it's part of doing what you love because it's not a hardship to work that much because I'm doing something that I love and making a difference. And you'll hear in your life about work-life balance. It's a lie. There's no such thing as work-life balance. But what there is, is work-life integration. You can think about the way, it's, you're not, it's, not, it's not so much, um, it's how do you weave what you do into who you are to make your whole life a success. And that's the best way to do it. Um, I'm like a reverse work carnivore. You know how carnivores will just like, like gorge on a meal and then go for like a week without eating, one more four or five days without eating. I do that with work. I gorge on work and then I'll just go crazy and then take a few days, well, like a day, um, and then I exercise, I clean my house, I love my kids, um, and then I go back to working again. Is it healthy? No. Um, but it's what works for me and it what, it's what makes me happy. And so there's a lot of studies that say that stress is only as stressful as you think it is. If you perceive stress to be stressful, you will be stressed out by it. If you just kind of roll with it, and you're like, all right, this is it, I'm doing this, this is what I do, you will actually perceive the stress to be less stressful to you. Your you know, biochemical reactions and everything else, you will be less stressed out about it. So find a way to integrate what you do into who you are, do it with joy. The idea of achieving balance is what stresses me out because I can't, um, but you'll find a way to make it work. Um, so work hard, be nice. Be nice, another thing which should be self-evident. My professional career goal throughout my entire life has been that you can talk to anyone who's ever worked with me and they'll be like, I love Brandy, she's great. And that truly has been something that I have worked toward. So first of all, be nice because if you're here to do, make the world a better place, start with it by not just what you do, but by who you are. Be nice to people, it makes them happy. Again, science proves when you're nice to people, it makes you happy too. So be nice to people. The other thing is, is that in terms of being nice, you never know, like the, your world's pretty small right now. If you're gonna stay in the sciences, everything is so interconnected. I have a new board member. Um, she ran Disney's Animal Kingdom and she started um, uh, kind of corporate Disney's, all of their conservation work. And found out that her husband is, was an advisor on my master's committee at Clemson in the late 90s. And so I'm sitting at a table, I went to visit her, sitting at a table having breakfast, and if Ted Stevens didn't like me, if I'd messed up back then, then it would have been a pretty awkward breakfast. So be nice to people, it always comes back. The connections you're making now will always come back to you. And here's the last thing, and I say this, um, I say this to everyone, but I will also say this to the women, being nice does not mean being soft. There have been a lot of times I've been told, and it's kind of stunning how recent it has been by the men in my career, oh Brandy, you shouldn't do that job, you shouldn't take that next step, you're too nice. Um, being nice does not mean being soft. It means being thoughtful, it means being kind. It is not an insult, it is a compliment. If you have bad news to give to someone, being nice is you don't do it over an email, you do it in person. Um, being nice is remembering people's birthdays, being nice is telling someone they did a good job. It is not being soft, it is not a weakness. Um, and finally, take chances. So the only regrets you have in life are the chances you don't take. Um, I had my master's degree from Clemson. I couldn't find a job. I moved in with my sister in Boston. I volunteered during the day and I waitressed at night while living in her basement, which flooded regularly. Um, and so I got a job offer in Dallas. I had never been to Dallas. I knew no one who lived there. The job was a temporary position with no benefits for minimum wage. And I said, I'll take it. Let's go. I would not be where I am today if I did not take that chance. Um, if you take chances, some of them will be good and will work out, like my Dallas story. 
Um, the stories I won't take to tell you are all of the incredibly, embarrassingly, catastrophically stupid chances that I took that did not work out. Um, but I promise you this, from those chances, you will learn from them. It will give you humility. Humility is so important when you are working with other people. And finally, they will make for the best, the funniest, the most hysterical stories that you will tell again and again and again. So take chances. Um, and this would not be a graduation speech if I did not quote a poem. Um, so I will quote one which I don't know if it's too overused in graduation world. Um, it is from T.S. Eliot's Love, Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. And time yet for a hundred indecisions and for a hundred visions and revisions. You will have indecisions. I can't tell you how many times I've wondered what should I do? What do I do next? Um, and for revisions, oh my gosh, <laughs> more often than indecisions, I wish I could revise some of the things I did. I can't believe I did that. I wish I could, I, could, I, I need a mulligan. Um, but the key word in that, in, that, in that quote is time. You have so much time. Um, you're starting your careers um, and you have time because the other important word are visions. You have an opportunity for the visions and to be visionary. So take those chances, um, be nice to people, work hard, and I promise you will have time for those visions and it will work out. So you're sitting here today because you've accomplished so much um, and I appreciate that you have let me be here for this moment in time with you. Um, and this is a moment too to make connections and to talk to people. So I graduated from the bees program uh, and any of you who are in the biological sciences, conservation, ecology, any of that, um, this is an opportunity to start practicing these things. So I wish you all well, congratulations. Thank you, Brandy, for these inspiring words. Be nice, work hard, be visionary. Thank you very much. So I just wanted to give you a small token of appreciation from the college. Um, Dr. John Forkus, Associate Dean, will introduce the doctoral commencement speaker. It's my honor to introduce our doctoral student speaker, Kayla Davey. Kayla successfully defended her dissertation in scientific computation last month. She studied ways to efficiently implement model order reduction techniques to solve parameter-dependent partial differential equations with constraints. It is with great pleasure that I welcome Kayla Davey to the podium. Good morning all, and congratulations to the classes of 2022 and 2023. I am honored to stand before you and among you on this momentous occasion. Today, we celebrate years of hard work and dedication and get to revel in the culmination of it all in front of our friends, families, and loved ones. For most of us, the journey to this point has come with good and bad moments. Along this journey, we've made lifelong friends, grown as researchers, professionals, and people, and created memories we will cherish forever. On the other hand, we've experienced burnout, familial issues, disappointments, mourning, and a global pandemic. In spite of all we've faced, we've made it to this moment, and for that, I congratulate you all. While we have accomplished so much, there is yet more that is expected of us. As UMD students, we have been entrusted with leading fearlessly forward in pursuit of excellence and impact for the greater good. This is by no means an easy task. 
We will all be starting new journeys and in intimidating, intimidating places, including top research labs, reputable companies, and respected colleges and universities. However, We've been trained by some of the brightest minds in our fields and gained the expertise necessary to thrive in whatever positions we will assume next. It is easy to have imposter syndrome, but we must remember that our degrees signify that we are prepared to face the challenges that will arise and to do so with methodical investigation, meticulous research, well-designed experiments, and well-informed data-based decision-making. The first African-American woman in US Congress, the Honorable Shirley Chisholm, once said, we must reject not only the stereotypes that others have of us, but also those that we have of ourselves. If we truly believe in our capabilities, the magnitude of what more we can achieve will be limitless. So today, I hope you bask in this moment that you have earned and are overwhelmed with pride in all you have accomplished. When you leave this place and go on to do whatever is next for you, there will inevitably come a time where you do not feel ready, prepared, or possibly even worthy. I encourage you to look back on this day, remember all you are capable of, and lead fearlessly forward anyway. Kayla, we are so proud to call you a Science Turk. So here's a token of appreciation from the college. Thank you. Will the PhD recipients from the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences please rise? Dr. John Forkus, Associate Dean, will present the graduates. By accepting the faculty's recommendation as presented by the associate dean, the dean will recognize the candidates as having completed all degree requirements. Dean Varshney, in accordance with the recommendations of the faculty and the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences, I request that you recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all the requirements for Doctor of Philosophy. I am pleased to accept the faculty's recommendation and I'm honored to recognize those graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy. Will the audience please join the Dean and the faculty in congratulating the August 2022, December 2022, and May 2023 doctoral degree recipients of the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences. Graduates, please be seated. PhD graduates of academic programs in the college will now receive diplomas and congratulations from the dean, the associate dean, the department chair or program director, and be hooded by their advisor. Dr. Doran Levy will present the graduates from Applied Mathematics and Statistics and Scientific Computation. Shranavas Khalid. To be hooded by Dr. Howard Elman, his dissertation, Trading Option Model Parameters and Clique Pricing Using Optimal Transport.
Kayla Davey to be hooded by Dr. Doran Levy. Her dissertation, A New Approach to Model Order Reduction for Partial Differential Equations and PDE Constrained Optimization Problems Subject to Parameterization. Stephanie Allen, to be hooded by Dr. Maria Cameron. Her dissertation, Working in Reverse, Advancing Inverse Optimization in the Fields of Equilibrium and Infrastructure Modeling. Luke Evans, to be hooded by Dr. Maria Cameron. His dissertation, Mahala Novus, Diffusion Maps for Quantifying Rare Events, Theory and Application to Molecular Dynamics. <laughs> Yashihiro Shirai, to be hooded by Dr. Doran Levy, his dissertation, Asset Pricing and Portfolio Choice with heavy tail returns distribution and non-linear expectation. <laughs> Andrew Lozier, to be hooded by Dr. Radu Balin. His dissertation, combinatorial optimization algorithms for hypergraph matching with application to posture identification in embryonic canor habits, elegans. Jem <laughs> Unsal, to be hooded by Dr. Yavuz Uric, his dissertation, Quantum Combinatorial Optimization Algorithms for Packing Problems in Classical Computing and Networking. Dao Shen Wang, to be hooded by Dr. Carl Miller, his dissertation, Quantum Speed Ups, Structure, Design, and Application. Keegan Callis, to be hooded by Dr. Doran Levy. His dissertation, Absolutely Periodic Billiard Orbits of Arbitrarily High Order. <laughs> Ching Chong Lu, to be hooded by Dr. Howard Elman. His dissertation, Swarm Dynamics, Flocking and Communication-Based Optimization. <laughs> Eric Oden, to be hooded by Dr. S. Raghavan. His dissertation, Exact and Heuristic Approaches for Emerging Vehicle Routing Problems. Doctors Andrew Harris and Eliza Kempton will present the graduates from astronomy. Elizabeth Tarantino, to be hooded by Dr. Alberto Bolado. Her dissertation, Physical Conditions of the Multi-Phase Interstellar Medium in Nearby Galaxies from Infrared and Millimeter Wave Spectroscopy.
Dr. Sumant Nigam will present the graduates from Atmospheric and Oceanic Science. Xing Zhou Huang, to be hooded by Dr. Kai Yang. Her dissertation, Remote Sensing of Atmospheric Trace Gases from Spaceborne UV Measurements. <laughs> Doctors Joshua Singer, Kevin McKeever, and Eric Haig will present the graduates from Biological Sciences. Zaziba Tabasum, to be hooded by Dr. Deborata Biswas. Her dissertation, Probiotic, Prebiotic, and Symbiotic Approaches in Sustainable Poultry Production Through Microbiome Modulation. Tan Lu, to be hooded by Dr. John Sang. Her dissertation, Systems Immunology of Immune Imprints Induced by Acute Viral Infections. Nicholas Rachmaninoff, to be hooded by Dr. John Tsang, his dissertation, Systems Approaches to Immunology in Acute COVID-19 Monogenic, Monogenic Immune Disorders and Childhood Development. Fushi Wong, to be hooded by Dr. Stephen Mount, her dissertation, Mechanism of Dream Component So One in Plant Stem Cell Regulation. Hui Jing Shu. To be hooded by Dr. Kan Sao, her dissertation, Development of an Accelerated Alzheimer's Disease in Vitro Model with the Addition of Progerin. <laughs> Zhang Hyung Kim, to be hooded by Dr. Xiaoping Zhu. Her dissertation, Development and Characterization of Epstein-Barr Virus Antibodies and Testing Their Efficacy in a Humanized Mouse Model. <laughs> Teresa Alexander, to be hooded by Dr. Colenzo Spear. Her dissertation, Analytical approaches for complex multi batch omics data sets and their application to neuronal development. <laughs> Bing Hang Shu, to be hooded by Dr. Colenzo Spear, her dissertation. Developmental Emergence and Age-Related Changes in the Intracortical Circuits of the Auditory Cortex. <laughs> Dr. Constantina Trevisa and Arpita Ubadayaya will present the graduates from Biophysics. Logan Kaler to be hooded by Dr. Greg Duncan, her dissertation, Probing Biophysical Interactions to Understand Viral Diffusion and Particle Fate 
in the airway mucosal barrier. Siddharth Sharma, to be hooded by Dr. Doran Levy, his dissertation, Inference and Control in Networks Far from Equilibrium. <laughs> Doctors Constantina Trevisa and Wendell Hill will present the graduates from Chemical Physics. Thomas Longo, to be hooded by Dr. Mikhail Anisimov, his dissertation, Phase Transitions Affected by Molecular Interconversion. <laughs> Calvin He, to be hooded by Dr. Wendell Hill, the dissertation, Experimental Measurements and Analysis of Relativistic Thomson Scattering Produced by Intense Lasers. <laughs> Doctors Janice Ruit Roby and Amy Mullen will present the graduates from Biochemistry and from Chemistry. Christopher Lukowski, to be hooded by Dr. Amy Mullen. The dissertation, Energy Transfer Dynamics of High Energy Molecules. <laughs> Timothy Dietrich, to be hooded by Dr. Efren Rodriguez. His dissertation, Tuning crystallographic and magnetic symmetry in lithium transition metal phosphates and thiophosphates. Pankaj Gildiel, to be hooded by Dr. Efren Rodriguez. His dissertation, Nanostructured Reactive Metals, Alloys, and Composites, Aerosol and Laser Assisted Synthesis, Assembly, and Characterization for Tunable Energy Release. <laughs> Matthew Leonard, to be hooded by Dr. Efren Rodriguez. His dissertation, A Breath of Fresh Air, Study of Reactive Porous Metal Oxides for Chemical Warfare Agent and Simulant Defeat. <laughs> Robert Martin, to be hooded by Dr. Monique Koppel. His dissertation, Exploring Mechanisms and Predicting Reactivity of Transition Metal Catalyzed and Photocatalyzed Radical and Polar Organic Transformations. <laughs> Jay Lee, to be hooded by Dr. Peter Nemes, his dissertation, Next Generation Mass Spectrometry with Multi-Omics for Discoveries in Cell and Neurodevelopmental Biology. <laughs> Sandro Gutierrez Razo to be hooded by Dr. John Forkus, her dissertation, Thin Films for High Resolution Three Color Lithography. <laughs> Dr. Matthias Zwicker will present the graduates from Computer Science.
Shravan Srinivasan to be hooded by Dr. Babas Papamantu. His dissertation, Data Structures and Protocols for Scalability and Security of Distributed Sense Consents. Aya Ismail, to be hooded by Dr. Matthias Zwicker, her dissertation, Interpretable Deep Learning for Time Series. <laughs> Kirin Javka, to be hooded by Dr. Mihai Pop, his dissertation, Algorithms for Scalable and Efficient Population Genomics and Metagen Metagenomics. <laughs> Jordan Terry, to be hooded by Dr. Dan Lathrop, her dissertation, Multi-agent reinforcement learning systems for evaluation and applications to complex systems. <laughs> Matthew Goldberg, to be hooded by Dr. Don Perlis, his dissertation, Time Situated Metacognitive Agency and Other Aspects of Common Sense Reasoning. Sahil Singla, to be hooded by Dr. Matthias Zwicker, his dissertation, Reliable Deep Learning, a Robustness Perspective. <laughs> Joe Barrow, to be hooded by Drs. Philip Resnick and Douglas W. Ord, his dissertation, Structural Scaffolding for Sense-Making in Document Collections. <laughs> Suraj Nair, to be hooded by Dr. Douglas W. Ord. His dissertation, Effective and Efficient Search Across Languages. Kamal Gupta, to be hooded by Dr. Abhinav Srivastava, his dissertation, Learning and Composing Primitives for the Visual World. <laughs> Deepthi Raghunandan, to be hooded by Drs. Nicholas Elmquist and Leilani Battle, her dissertation, Supporting Independent Learning and Rapid Experimentation in Data Science. Zhou Hua Tsong to be hooded by Dr. Leilani Battle, her dissertation, a multifaceted approach for evaluating visualization recommendation algorithms. Ting Yang Tan, to be hooded by Dr. Matthias Twicker, his dissertation, Learning-Based Physics Simulation with Collision Handling. <laughs> Yang Chong Sun, to be hooded by Dr. Furong Huang. Her dissertation, Towards Robust and Adaptable Real-World Reinforcement Learning.
Thomas Rollinger to be hooded by Dr. Alan Sussman. His dissertation, Compiler Optimizations for Irregular Memory Accesses in the PGAS Programming Model. Kesha Heidela, to be hooded by Dr. Michael Hicks, a verified software tool chain for quantum programming. <laughs> Ian Sweet, to be hooded by Dr. Michael Hicks, his dissertation, Language-Based Techniques for Secure Programming. Sanka Guria, to be hooded by Dr. David Van Horn. His dissertation, Program Synthesis with Lightweight Abstractions. Leonidas Tsepanekis, to be hooded by Dr. Matthias Zwicker. His dissertation, On Algorithmic Fairness and Stochastic Models for Combinatorial Optim Optimization and Unsupervised Machine Learning. <laughs> Moshe Katz, to be hooded by Ashok Agrawala. His dissertation, Software Defined Software. Xiaoping <laughs> Zhu, to be hooded by Dr. Michael Laskowski. His dissertation, Applications of Graph Theory and Logic in Computer Science. <laughs> Wei Jia Xu, to be hooded by Dr. Marine Kapwat. Her dissertation, Stronger Inductive Biases for Sample Efficient and Controllable Neural Machine Translation. <laughs> Doctors Leslie Pick and Jeffrey Schultz will present the graduates from entomology. Ariel Arsenault Benoit, to be hooded by Dr. Megan Fritz. Her dissertation, Urbanization and Landscape Heterogeneity Influence Culex Species Ecology and Genetics in Eastern North America. Oh, I love it. Christina Christman, to be hooded by Dr. Leslie Pick. Her dissertation, Varroa Destructor, Abiotic and Biotic Correlates to Body Size and the Effects of Size and Host Type on Mite Tolerance to Acaricide Exposure. Dr. Timothy Canty will present the graduates from Marine, Estuarine, and Environmental Sciences. Christopher Hayes, to be hooded by Dr. Lisa Wenger. His dissertation, Expanding the Fisheries Management Tackle Box, a Multiple Model Approach to Support Better Decisions.
Dr. Matthias Zwicker will present the graduate, this graduate from computer science. Kung Jung Lee, to be hooded by Dr. Hernisa Kakori. His dissertation, Egocentric Vision in Assistive Technologies for and by the Blind. Doctors Doran Levy and Leonid Korolov will present the graduates from mathematics and mathematical statistics. Yun Jong Gu, to be hooded by Dr. Shuo Chen. Her dissertation, Bayesian Methods and Their Application in Neuroimaging Data. Dr. Steve Ralston will present the graduates from physics. Yi Hua Lai, to be hooded by Dr. J. Deep Saw. Her dissertation, non-local transport signatures and quality factors in the realistic Majorana nanowires. Andrew Guo, to be hooded by Dr. Alexei Gorshkov, his dissertation, Many Body Entanglement Dynamics and Computation in Quantum Systems with Power Law Interactions. <laughs> Ruji Pan, to be hooded by Dr. Charles Clark, his dissertation, Applications of Artificial Neural Networks in Learning Quantum Systems. Okay. Kyle Senjakowski, to be hooded by Dr. John Cummings. His dissertation, Investigation of Cryogenic Surface Charging During Off-Access Electron Holography. Zishua Yang. Yang, to be hooded by Dr. Hassan Jawahari. His dissertation, Experimental Study of Semi-Tononic B sub C decays and Development of the Upstream Tracker Electronics for the LHCB upgrade. Sai Kanth Dacha, to be hooded by Dr. Thomas E. Murphy. His dissertation, Spatiotemporal Nonlinear Optical Effects in Multimode Fibers. Pranava Jayanti, to be hooded by Dr. Constantina Trevisa. His dissertation, Analysis of Models of Superfluidity. Wu <laughs> Xun Guo, to be hooded by Dr. Xiaoding Ji. His dissertation, Unraveling the Nucleon 3D Structure from Experiment, Lattice, and Global Analysis. Ray Zhang, to be hooded by Dr. Zhang Ding Ji, his dissertation, Lattice Quantum Chromodynamics Calculations of Parton Physics with Leading Power Accuracy in Large Momentum Expansion.
Please join the Dean in a round of applause for all of our doctoral degree recipients. Dr. John Forkus, Associate Dean, will introduce the master's commencement speaker. It is my honor to introduce our master's student speaker, Isha Angadi, who earned a master's of professional studies in data science and analytics in December of 2022, and is now working as a junior data scientist at Explore Digits, a Maryland startup company. morning to Terps, Terp parents, guardians, and our chosen family. My name is Isha Ungri, and I am honored to be your master's commencement speaker today. Let me take you back to that sweltering summer day in 2017 when I first set foot on the sprawling campus with my mother by my side. We were standing at McKeldin Mall, confused as to why it was called a mall when there were no stores around. Yet as I looked out at the beautiful green grass, I felt overwhelmed by the presence and size of our campus. I felt so small, but I also realized that all of my hard work had led me to this moment. I was about to embark on a journey full of possibilities and opportunities with the entire world at my feet. We arrived here as ambitious students from all around the world, eager to pursue our dreams and explore new horizons. We were excited, but also scared, not knowing what the future held. But together, we found our footing in this new place. As we grew and developed over the years, this place slowly became our home. We created bonds and friendships that will last a lifetime. We learned to be carefree and spontaneous, living in the moment and embracing life with joy and wonder. We were able to do this because of the vast amount of opportunities presented to us at the university. The countless clubs, organizations, and resources allowed us to explore our passions and discover new ones. The diverse culture and welcoming atmosphere of the university has allowed us to not just grow academically, but also as individuals. We found ourselves pushing boundaries and breaking barriers, discovering new talents and interests we never knew we had. Today, we are located mere steps from the very McKeldin Mall that's now filled with our laughs, our midday naps in the sun, our stress-filled all-nighters, our failures, and our accomplishments. And I am once again overwhelmed, but this time with a sense of pride and gratitude. We are now equipped with the skills and support from the, universe, from the community we have created here at the university, and we are ready to face the world with a newfound confidence and a sense of purpose. As we move on to the next phase of our lives, let us take this experience with us. Let us continue to explore and grow and embrace new opportunities with the same vigor and excitement we had on the first day that we set foot on this campus. Let us keep the smile of our inner child alive, the one that reminds us of our true essence, our passion, and our sense of adventure. On behalf of all of the graduating students, I extend our heartfelt gratitude to our professors, our parents, guardians, and all those who have supported us on this journey. We owe a debt of gratitude for the love and support that you have shown us. Your guidance has helped us navigate the challenges of graduate school, and your love has, has sustained us through this journey. 
thank you to the University of Maryland for providing us a home away from home and helping us make our dreams come true. Congratulations to the classes of 2022 and 2023. May our futures be filled with endless opportunities and may we continue to make our mark on the world. Thank you. Isha, we are so proud of to call you a double science turk. We wish you much success in life and your, in your career. Here's a small token of appreciation from the college. Will the master's degree and graduate certificate recipients from the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences please rise? Dr. John Forkus, Associate Dean, will present the graduates. By accepting the faculty's recommendation as presented by the Associate Dean, the Dean will recognize the candidates as having completed all degree requirements. Dr. Varshney, in accordance with the recommendations of the faculty in the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences, I request that you recognize those graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Chemical and Life Sciences, Master of Professional Studies, and Graduate Certificate. I am pleased to accept the faculty's recommendation, and I'm honored to recognize those graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Chemical and Life Sciences, Master of Professional Studies, and Graduate Certificate. Will the audience please join the Dean and the faculty in congratulating the August 2022, December 2022, and May 2023 Master's Degree and Graduate Certificate recipients of the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences. Graduates, please be seated. Masters and certificate graduates of academic programs in the college will now receive congratulations from the dean, the associate dean, and the department chair or program director. Dr. Andrew Harris will present the graduates from astronomy. Arjen Saval. Giannina Guzman Caloca. Dr. Sumant Nigam will present the graduates from atmospheric and oceanic science. Yi Han Fang. Yi Fang Gu. Benjamin Shepherd. Bennett Erdman. Dr. Josh Singer, Kevin McKeever, and Eric Haig will present the graduates from Biological Sciences. Maya Kim. Doctors Janice Roby and Amy Mullen will present the graduates from Biochemistry and from Chemistry. Brian Horlor. Dr. Matthias Zwicker will present the graduates from Computer Science. 
Ryan Lowe. Ritika Das. William Ingold. Jasmine Schweitzer. Tom Hansen. Ichi Rocky Zhang. Sri Lanka Ravencar. B. Sriram. Rohith Arilekati. Kyle Hasseld. Chris Therrett. Srivatsan Srinivasan. Sagar Saxana. Priyanka Mehta. Saksham Kolshreth. Ayushi Roy. Kevin Jew. Kevin Jew. Ivar Jones. Ivar Jones. Aaron Ortwine. Caitlin Yang. Pion Than Win. Manaswini Swami. Manaswini Swami. Yan Hu. Yan Hu. Rod Ramju. Yi Hong Xu. <laughs> Dr. Michael Cummings will present the graduates from Data Science and Analytics. Noah McCord. <laughs> Luis Argetta. Hashul Bhavish Shah. Nihar Pandya. Nihar Pandya. Zan Abbas. Zan Abbas. Isha Angadi. Isha Angadi. Meher Chaturvedi. Chi Hua Chang. Doctors Leslie Pick and Jeffrey Schultz will present the graduates from entomology. Madeline Potter. Dr. James Farquhar and Vedran Lekic will present the graduates from geology. Ramya Ravi. Alexander Taylor. Sylvia Castilla Montagut.
Sandy Harrow. Dr. Amol Dashpanda will present the graduates from machine learning. Martina De Luca Barcelo. Marcus Hill. Abhichek Kochilakota. Ankit Kotari. Sandeep Polavarapu. Isha Asala. Bowen Lee. Bowen Lee. Jawe Lu. Zurnab Gohar. Zurnab Gohar. <laughs> Dr. Michael Cummings will present the graduates from the certificate programs in data science and computation and mathematics for biological networks. Wei Jin Wu. Dean Amitab Varshney. Graduates, we are incredibly proud of you, and we are honored to know that we played a role in preparing you for your future successes. As you cross the stage, you received a small gift from our college, a science stub tumbler that we hope you will use proudly. Remember, you will always be a science stub. Will all those in the audience who are family members and friends of the graduates please stand? Graduates, you did not go on this journey alone. Please stand and join me in recognizing and thanking all those who have supported you on the way. Please be seated. As you all exit the chapel today, I hope you will join me outside on the front steps for a post-commencement reception. I love meeting the parents, families, and friends who helped these graduates accomplish so much during their time here. I have met many alumni in my 23 years. I have been a faculty member here. And they always tell me how much the University of Maryland continues to mean to them long after they have graduated. I have a good feeling that the same will ring true for all of you here today. As you take the next steps in life, please remember, you'll always have a home here in a college. Come back and visit us often, and please stay in touch. We will always be proud of everything you accomplish. Congratulations to the classes of 2022 and 2023.
Will the audience and graduates please rise? Please remain standing and remain in place for the recessional, which will be led by the platform party, followed by the graduates. Families and friends are invited to join the graduates outside the main entrance on the steps for a reception hosted by the dean.